Hey guys, it's Jen over at worldofjencraft.com and this is our card for today. So this is one of four cards that my card class will make in the month of November and I thought I would go ahead and since card class is this week, I would make some tutorials each day of my cards. So here are the other three that they will be making. Um, and then along with this one, I decided to keep these all using uh, just simple two colors, the Cherry Cobbler and the Whisper White, and then using the Mini Mittens Framelits and Stamp Set and Bundle. So let's get started with the supplies for this card, and I will show you how I put it together. Um, the first thing I used was the silver from the Mini Tinsel Trim Combo Pack. So you get a red and a silver, but we use silver for this card some sparkles, the uh, mini mittens framelits, and the swirly snowflakes thinlets, and I used the border from the thinlets. I just absolutely love that set. It's so delicate and beautiful. Um, the sentiment that I used came from the Hug in a Mug stamp set, and some cherry cobbler ink. So for supplies, I used a Whisper White 5.5 by 8.5, and, and then you'll need two uh, Whisper White pieces that are about 2 and a quarter by 3, so just enough to cut out these two little mittens from there. And then the Cherry Cobbler cardstock is 1 and a quarter by 5.5, and, and again, two, one and a quarter, uh, 2 and a quarter by 3 to cut out the mittens from that. And I do have a kit that's already pre-cut and ready to go. If you'd like to leave a comment on my website on this post, worldofgencraft.com, and I will send it to you. I'll uh, pick a name in the next couple of days. So this card is super simple to put together, um, but I just think it turned out so beautiful. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to grab out the big shot and we are going to make the border and then how we're going to do that is we're just going to set our die here and we want it at the very edge of our paper like so without going over and just making sure that your edges are even on this side and this side so that looks about right and i'm just going to run this through and then what you're going to have is this will come off here and then you'll just have to remove all of these little dots which I'll do here and then I'll come back to you once I have them all removed. So once all of those are removed this just makes the most beautiful delicate border. And I do have a couple of tips on this for you. Um, the first thing is with this die, because it is so intricate, you're going to want to run it through your big shot twice. So run it, roll it through once and then roll it back again over it. And the other thing I found out the hard way is it, be it works better with the regular Whisper White cardstock and not the thick Whisper White cardstock. The thick Whisper White cardstock was just a little too, well, thick for the die to completely cut all everything through even with rolling it through several times so my uh, suggestion is to use it just with the regular whisper white cardstock so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to just adhere this strip of cherry cobbler and that is going to go on the inside of your card so that you have that bit of uh, red peeking through your border and that's just going to go right here. So there you have that. And then I used um, the glue, what's it called? The fine tip glue pen for, I'm going to grab it quick. Oops, sorry about that arm there. Um, so I'm going to use the fine tip glue pen and I'm going to go ahead and glue on the terry cobbler mittens onto the white. While that is drying, I'm just going to set those aside and I'm going to go ahead and tie a bow from the tinsel. So 
So it's just a simple little bow, nothing fancy. And I actually like uh, the way the bow tied on this because I felt like I could manipulate it pretty decently to have the little ends coming down. So we'll tie it into about the size that we want it and then set that aside, I guess, until we get our mittens glued together. But So try and get this down here. And it's a little bit bigger than I want, so I'm going to try and pull this through. Let's see. Wrong way. There. So we'll probably go with about this size here. And that's just going to get cut down. I really love this stuff. So let's see. We'll put that aside. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to use a glue dot which I have set aside here. I'm going to bring my card back into the picture. There it is. Yay. And I'm going to throw this on here. I did not use any Stampin' Dimensionals. And then we're just going to kind of overlap our um, mittens so they're, I don't know, probably about like this because you want to keep your, um, you want to keep it so you can see your little, what's it called? The my brain is completely dead today. Oh my goodness. The sparkles, that's what it is, because we're going to put sparkles in there. So that's just all I did there. Um, and then I'll probably go ahead and just stick another couple of glue dots on here so they stick down when I put them onto my card front. So that's just going to go up here in the corner, probably angled a little bit like, um, let's see how I had that. Um, yeah, so probably like, I might move this over just a little bit. There, like that. And then we'll stick our bow on. This came together pretty quickly. I'm all about the, you know, simple, the fast and easy. So let's get this on here. And that's just going to go here. And then we'll throw our sparkles on. And then I have not forgotten about the sentiment yet. We'll get to that. So our sparkles are going to go, well, if I can get one off of here without it falling. There. That's going to go there. And then we're going to throw one here. And then I just put one down here at the bottom of each of my little scalloped edges. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we are going to use our cherry cobbler ink, get everything else off of here, and using the sentiment from the hug in a mug, sending warm thoughts. And that is just going to kind of come down here a little bit. And there you go. That is our card. Oh my goodness. I just love it when they turn out pretty easy to put together, but yet I just thought that turned out so beautiful. So here it is. Here is our card. And I probably should have put like another, but I guess you could probably leave that so they're not completely um, adhered down, maybe sticking up a little bit, but there it is. That's our card. Yay. So I'll bring these out again, give you kind of a little sneak peek of our next ones that I have coming up. So stay tuned, and I will show you how to put all of these together. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. WorldofGenCraft.com if you want to check out the supplies and the dimensions. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week up ahead. Talk to you later. Bye.